To find out more about how tennis balls are made, Eddie's come to the outskirts of Bath to meet Louise Price. Hi, Louise. Hello, all right. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, and you? Whose family are the only remaining tennis ball makers in the UK. My granddad came here in 1936. The factory itself used to make rubber tyres and um, there were a few tennis ball moulds here. After the war, they started trying them out. We've been making tennis balls since then. Tennis balls are created from two halves, made from rubber nuggets, which are melted and set into rubber moulds. So this is the size the tennis ball should be? Yeah, that's right. When covered, we'll be about 66 millimetres. And now two of these are going to be joined together to make the whole one. The balls are then baked for 20 minutes to bind the two halves together. So this is one that's been cooked already, so the joint is really strong, it's really sore, you can't break it at all, you know, the bounce is fine. Nice. To finish, the ball is hand-covered with pre-cut felt. The one side and then you just fill in the gap for the other side. Traditionally, tennis balls were white, but in 1972, this was changed to make it easier for television viewers to spot them. One of the things I was um, struggling with was trying to get the colour right. You know, is it yellow, is it green? Is well, it funny enough, lots of people call it green. I always refer to it as tennis yellow. Tennis yellow. Tennis yellow. And if you're a serious player, this is the only colour that you'll want to play with. After gluing the felt, the balls are baked one last time. Yeah, so let's take it out and have a look because they're a bit hot to touch. OK, right. So, look, now this seems nice and even all the way round. Perfect. Above the first time. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.